Okay, welcome back guys. My name is Zach and this is episode 6 in the Self Mastery series. Uh, more good news guys. I am just plugging away, figuring it out, eating right, working out. I'm not weighing myself and um, that may or may not be a good thing. We'll, we'll let that play out as time goes by. But I think in the long run, it's going to be better that I'm not weighing myself every day and, and obsessing about that weight. I need to obsess about if you need to assess about anything, oh, just doing the right thing, you know, knowing that I ate right, knowing that I worked out, knowing that I'm trying my best, drinking my water, staying away from junk food, alcohol, drugs, you know, cigarettes, you know, all the bad things that I'm are in my past, you know, give yourself credit for those things and, and don't worry about that scale so much. But just a quick video, guys, I wanted to say, <clears throat> if you watched my video yesterday, I said I was going to play the little trick on my psyche today and try to eat just a little 1.5 ounce bag of almonds from work because I knew they had I knew they were available at work. So I got to work. I had my black tea. I did most of my morning rounds of work and my little routine. And it got to be like um, somewhere around 10 o'clock. I was like, well, I'm just going to, I had a minute. I'm going to cut in through the lunchroom and get it, buy the little bag of almonds for $1.50 or whatever it was and put it in my pocket. And I was like, okay, this is this is going good. You know, it's, it's right here. I could have it if I want, but I'm, I don't really feel hungry right now. So I sat in my pocket for like an hour. I threw it in my um, office, a little um, near my desk, and where I uh, uh, enter some data and stuff. And I was like, okay, everything's cool. You know, I'm, I kind of have it, and I, you know, I, I'm not obsessing about it. I don't need to eat it. Uh, it's not freaking me out. And then I was like, oh, I was about eleven o'clock or eleven thirty. Might have been about eleven thirty. I was like, let me just sit on for a minute and eat some of these almonds. So I was like, I was eating it. And I was like, well, let me just eat half the bag because that'll. That'll, I've never like left food over, you know, and it's something I want to learn how to do. So I ate like half the bag and I put it in my pocket and I was messing around with some paperwork and stuff. And I was like, oh, that, that flavor, that salt and the oil and, you know, cause they're not good almonds. You know, you want raw almonds, not baked with the, you know, they're going to have vegetable oil, oil on them and stuff. You know, you just want like organic raw almonds would be the best, but obviously those were not available in a tiny little open market at my work but anyway not a terrible snack so I ate about half the almonds messed around for like five ten minutes it's like oh I want the other half you know so I kind of felt it I felt like I felt the desire to eat because I ate I had less of a desire to eat before I even ate one of them but after I ate you know three quarters of an ounce of them then I wanted the rest of them so I ate the rest of them and I was like okay no big deal like I was feeling hungry and so I filled up a bottle of water my 20 ounce bottle of water and I sat down, so I had an ounce and a half of almonds and a bottle of water. And I felt like, okay, I'm not hungry anymore. I wasn't full, but I wasn't hungry. And I started doing my job again, just more work. I was pretty busy today, just moving and moving and moving. I, I should start wearing my um, Fitbit at work again because my new job, sometimes I am just walking for buku hours a day. Anyway, within about a half hour, I just really wanted to eat. And let me cut into the story right now, because I'm going to tell you the rest of the stuff I ate at work. I, I had, I'm had i doing good so far today. But anyway, it made me think maybe there's something going on with my insulin and my blood sugar and, and you know, whatever is affecting my hormones um, when I even, when I eat a small amount. Because it doesn't seem to matter what I eat. It makes me want to eat more. Um, so I'm curious, because I don't have any blood... I only do that A1C test, like I said, once every like six to 12 months, maybe even once every 18 months, because I know when I'm doing good, it's, it's, you know, if I'm gaining weight, I'm doing bad. If I'm losing weight, I'm doing good. As far as dietarily, you know, controlling diabetes, I'm not freaking out about my weight, but hey, it's my, it's, it's directly related to diabetes. Every 10 pounds I gain, my A1C is going up, you know, 0.2 or whatever, you know, 0.1, whatever. Every 10 pounds I lose, it's going down. So it's directly related to my health. So... My weight is important to me in that I want to be healthy and live long and, you know, not just live long, but be healthy as I live long. So what I'm curious to do, and I'm not going to do it this week because I'm going to stick to this really eat really light at work and then eat a couple, eat, eat a decent meal at night and call it for all this week. Because then I'm going to be in the Philippines for a couple of weeks. I'm sure I'll lose weight during that two weeks. Going to be, you know, just touristy stuff and I'm not going to be having like, you know, snacks and junk food around either, you know, in a hotel and resorts and stuff. Um, and plus I'm going to be with the person that eats, you know, a 10% of the amount of food that I eat in a regular basis. So, so, so after about a half hour, hour, I can't, I didn't really time it cause I, I wasn't thinking about, you know, my meal timing or anything, but it was pretty, pretty quickly after I ate the almonds, I just had, I really wanted to eat more and it was, 
it was like I'm gonna use the word overwhelming again. I I, I may have been able to use some more discipline, but it, it was just like you know it's not a big deal. I'll go find something. Because when I went and bought the almonds, I saw the guy in there stocking up the food in the open market, and I saw there was chef salads and there was like omelets with like just meat and cheese and eggs. So over the course, I had a chef salad, and then shortly thereafter, I went back and had the cheese omelet too. So I added up the almonds, the omelet, and the salad, and I was at like a uh, thousand calories, something like that, because they're you know they're small. If I would have made those a salad and an omelet at my house, it would have been a lot bigger, you know, more calories, but it's smaller portion sizes. And then um, at the end of my day at work, I uh, just as I was punching out, I just went and crushed a quick chest and tricep workout. And again, it's the the strength is coming up, the endure, the muscular endurance where I can, you know, throw 200, 225 pounds on a bench and, and pump it pretty good. Um, which, you know, I've had to work myself up to it over the last few months. And it's really feeling good. You know, I'm, I'm feeling the power and the energy. So then I got home and I pretty much quickly made a six eggs, just scrambled eggs with green onions and mushrooms. So I added that all up. And this is another point I want to bring up about my fitness pal. It's a really fun motivational diet tracker. And you can put your... Um, you can put your, your your workouts in there and you can, they have all kinds. I don't have the premium version of it yet. I might, I might upgrade to it too, because I've had it in the past and it is kind of nice or it'll really break down stuff for you a lot better. And now they've added some extra features like intermittent fasting and fasting and uh, fasting trackers and intermittent fasting trackers. And then, you know, you could put the exact macros you want to have in there and it's just tracks so much stuff for you and it's really easy. So after, um, I'm going to say more on that. But after putting all the food in, including when I got home and ate, I was at like um, 1,600 calories for the day. And I don't minus the calories from the workout. You, you, my fitness pal will allow you to do that. If you, you know, you could say you walked three miles and, you know, you can minus off 300 calories or whatever, you know. It might be less than that. I'm just giving an, an example. Um, so... It, you know, it does track my macros. My carbs, fat, and protein was at 7% carbs, 67% fat, and 26% protein. So, you know, your numbers aren't going to be perfect every day. But, like, when you average them out over the week and the month and, the, and your routine, this is really close to where I'm wanting to be. Again, you know, a couple percent over the protein. But I still have 600 calories left. So, I, it's only, it's 830. So, I'm probably going to eat something right after this video and start editing and stuff and and finish off the day now this another point about my fitness pal though it has a um has a little feature when you put all your food in you can hit complete the day something like that it's a button on the bottom and it will tell you if you ate exactly like you did today how, and because it has your current weight because i keep my i put my weight in there like once every month or something so it's pretty close usually i don't even know what weight i have in there right now i think i have my accurate rate in there right now and uh so five, it'll say if you eat, if you, if you ate every day, like you did today for the next five weeks, this is how much you weigh. And you know, like five weeks is fast when, especially when you're 50. I mean, if you're 10, five weeks might seem like an eternity, but when you're 50, five weeks is like a long weekend. And, um, you know, so you can see the, the fruit of your labor. Like if I, you know, maybe I only lost, you know, a half a pound or a quarter of a pound today. You know, it's like, but look at these results if I do this for five weeks, you know, or similar diet, which made me think when I get back from the Philippines, because all I have is this week to do any of this routine. So that's why I'm not trying to alter it too greatly or anything, but um, that I might like follow the exact same diet. So I know I'm going to eat this many eggs and this much meat and this much salad and this much, you know, whatever every day the exact same foods this many almonds you know and and know that this is what i'm gonna weigh five weeks later i think it'd be a fun little series we can do like we, we could call it the five weeks later series um it could be, even be a side portion where i just can talk about this is exactly what i'm gonna eat and then and then weigh myself and tick 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 you know because it was like um well because i'm not done eating but i hit the button anyway so like if i would quit eating today at 1600 calories which is pretty low right for a for a 240 pound dude, um, it was like, you'll weigh 225 pounds in like five weeks. And it's like, oh my God, that'd be awesome. You know? So it just helped motivate yourself to stick to something 
It's that consistency, that discipline, the consistency, and the patience. You know, you got to have that patience to let these results happen. You know, you, everybody, want, like I said, when I first started the, this, the, the um, Healthy, Wealthy, Happy series, it's like, yeah, you want to lose 100 pounds by tomorrow, you know, and you're willing to do nothing for it. You know, um, that's not reality. You know, it's going to take time. It's going to take a couple of years and you're going to have to do a lot of work and and that's why I wanted to switch this, the name of this series, because at first I was like, okay, we're on chapter two, we'll just call it chapter two. It's like, no, I want to make it more specific. This is the self-mastery series. Name it something that you're trying to do. In the first series, it's like, hey, I'm trying to get healthier, wealthier, and happier. So I named it that. And now I'm realizing I need to conquer one's self. I need to master myself. Name it self-mastery. So you're saying it every day. So that I'm saying what I'm attempting to do every day that I make my video. And I think I'm being, I'm, feeling very motivated to at least make a short video every day. Even if I just go live for five minutes and say, this is what I ate, this is what workout I did, I'm out. And having said that, we're, we just crossed the 10 minute mark and I just wanna keep this video short for today, guys, and let you know that we are plugging away, we're doing good, we're eating right, we're, we're working out and we're drinking our water and it's all gonna happen. Jump on board with Jesus, he loves you, I love you, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.